Hello guys! For today's video, I have this really pretty makeup look using the color teal. I've been so obsessed lately with the glitter and I just love the way that it looks. It just gives your eye makeup like a pop. But you guys, tell me about this color. I love it. Before, I will always stay like on the neutral side, but I, now I've been really into like, you know, colors out of my comfort zone. And playing around with makeup and I love it so far. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. As you guys can see, I already did my eyebrows out of camera and we're going to go straight into her eyes. I'm going to be using the Fit Me by Maybelline in the color Sun. I've been really into this concealer. It works really good and I've been using it as a primer for my eyes and I feel like it works perfectly fine just like a primer. And we're going to be doing our eyes first because we are using glitter so we're going to be having a lot of fallout and therefore we need to do our foundation last. So now I'm going to be going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. You guys, if you've seen all my videos before, you know I am obsessed with this powder. It's the best translucent powder out there. If you guys don't own this, you need to go and buy it right now. Now I'm going to be going in with this little nice matte la colors palette and it is that it says the color teal argyle i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but this was only like three dollars at a sally salon and i'm just gonna go ahead and start using as a transition shade the lightest green on the palette it is really light so you just gotta keep working on it so now i'm gonna go in and go in with the second darkest or lightest this is mostly kind of turning into a baby blue color. So we're going to start using this to start building the color and make it more darker. You always want to start with the light color and then work yourself up to the darkest. So I've been really liking this color. I've been really into teals. It is really, really pretty. As you guys can see so far, I'm doing kind of like a halo eye kind of look. So doing it from the outside of my eye to the inner side. Just putting the color back and forth to make it a little bit more darker. I'm gonna be taking the darkest color on it and it is kind of like a dark blue dark green color and this is gonna be the darkest we're gonna be using so you're just gonna keep on blending that back and forth make sure you keep blending to your desired look <laughs> best part which is the glitter I am obsessed with this little glitters um, this is the name splash glitter splash and it is the name tropical lime I bought this at a Sally's as well they were like three dollars and let me tell you it is so so pretty first off I'm gonna start off by using this other glitter as kind of like a glitter glue um, it just says on the brand blink it didn't say anything else but I also purchased it at Sally's and then I'm going to be going in with the brush and adding some Fits Plus to make it stick even much better. I found out that every time you put on glitter, you add little bit by little instead of going all the way in using, I mean doing everything. So just take step by step, you know, take your time. <laughs> So now I'm going to be going in back to the palette again and I'm just going to go ahead and take 
another color as well. Um, I just combined the lightest and then the medium color and I'm just going to start blending everything just so everything can look nice and blended. Now that I finished doing my eye makeup, I'm going to go ahead and use an e.l.f. makeup wipe to wipe off all the excess that I have on my face. I went and go ahead and did my eyeliner and put on some falsies. For the eyeliner, I used the L'Oreal Black is Black eyeliner and then for eyelashes, I'm using the Ardell 105. And for mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Set. Now I'm going in again back to the palette using the darkest color to put at the bottom of my eye. And for the inner side, I'm going to be taking the dark, the lightest and the medium color just so it can look kind of like a kind of like ombre kind of type. And then I'm going to be taking this NYS Jumbo Pencil in the color, I'm not sure if it's white or milk. And this is just going to make our eye kind of stand out. As you can tell, it makes my eye really watery. Going back to the Too Faced Better Than Sets Mascara, I'm going to be taking this and putting it all on my bottom lashes just to make it more better. To save us some time and not bore you guys, I already did the other eye. And we're going to go to our face now. I'm going to be taking this Nivea... Nivea I don't know how you say it, man. Post Shea Balm, and I use this in the sensitive one. This works really good as a primer. I've seen a lot of YouTube gurus use it, so I started using it, and it works magic. And I'm going to be taking this mascara that I recently purchased at Target as well, and it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. And I used to use this foundation before, and I forgot how great it was. I am... So obsessed with it. It is the 3-1, so it has foundation, it has sunscreen, and I think it has like a kind of like a primer. It just works really really good. to using concealer I'm using again the fit me Maybelline in the color sand concealer I'm gonna be placing this all at the bottom of my eyes in a triangle shape I'm gonna be also putting it in my chin and my nose and also in my forehead just so it can like conceal and highlight as well <music> start baking my face I'm taking again the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just gonna start placing this powder all over the face where I place the concealer and this is gonna set the concealer and it is also gonna make my you know face look nice and smooth to start bronzing and contouring using the L'Oreal true match powder in the color cocoa and this is just a really nice this is supposed to be kind of like a face uh, foundation powder, but I used the darkest color to contour and I think it looks more nice and natural than using some regular bronzers. <music> to sharpen up my um, contour and everything, I'm going to be baking under my kind of like the contour and all that section. And this is just going to make it look more nice, sharp, and clean. 
So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild. Um, the blush is says color icon. It doesn't say the name of it. Oh yeah, it says Mellow Wine. And it's like a nice rosy pink color. I just thought it looked pretty nice. With this eye look, nothing too crazy. And I'm just going to go ahead and start blending everything together. So it just looks nice and natural. So now I'm going in to highlight my face. I'm using my favorite, the Glow Kit um, in that glow. I'm going to be taking some burst and bubbly, mixing those two together and putting it all over my cheekbones. Like that highlight though. And I'm also going to be placing this like at my nose, on top of my eyebrows, on top of my lip. It's just going to make it everything kind of like stand, not stand out, but it's just going to make it nice shiny look and I just I really been loving the look to it and last but not least I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Ashton I've been obsessed this has been my everyday kind of lipstick that I've been using I just can't get enough it's just so nice it just I feel like it goes with any kind of color that you put on your eyes Really, really pretty. And this is the final look, you guys. I took off my braid just so I can make my hair look kind of nice, big, and bottomless. And look at this color you guys, I am obsessed with it, it is so pretty, again it is something out of my comfort zone, I wouldn't before never used to wear this color, but I am loving it, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, also don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video, bye!